Okay, a quick prelude to this episode. This is the prosecution case against my episode one. And what I will try to do throughout this series is give the, actually, like, if you like, the opposing arguments. So this is what this episode's about, and it's about the claims I made in episode one. So I'll be very clear what the case against, against it is, and then we'll examine that. So let's get on with the episode. <music> The case that has been raised against episode 1 is that I use the wrong gas law and that CO2 and methane are not ideal gases. And that claim is true. The ideal gas law fails for methane and CO2 under conditions of high pressure or low temperature because the molecular volumes and intermolecular forces, especially for CO2, cause significant deviations from the ideal behaviour. So that is the expanded case against my episode one. The further suggestion is that for methane and CO2, real gas equations like van der Waals equation are more accurate. Now those are quite valid criticisms and this is how it should be in science. One should have both sides looked at as it were. And that's all I'm asking anyone to do. Don't expect to take tablets of stone from me as it were because I'm not that good. But here um, I have written uh, a new paper and done it in the two versions, the layman's version and the more scientific version. And what I've used is van der Waals um, equation to check on Venus, which is a big one, because, you know, we, it's under compression that that law matters far more and so on. But I haven't just used the ideal gas laws. I've used the ideal gas laws with, if you like, pragmatic work, such as the dust storms on, on uh, Mars, um, in order to evaluate um, the, the real world temperatures. And I had fairly accurate results when compared to the actual measured temperatures. So in this, in this paper, I have produced a table. And by the way, I encourage you to read the paper. If you're not into the science, just read the um, easy to read version. It's very short. And it comes up with a table to compare what I predicted with what van der Waal predicted uh, for these planets, including Earth. And here is the table. So in the case of Venus, as you can see, the observed temperature is 735 Kelvin. And the van der Waal uh, estimate is dead on, 735 Kelvin, using their formula. But my paper also predicted 735. So as regards accuracy, both are the same. I got the same result. Now let's take Earth. In the case of Earth, I actually had the better estimate. Uh, the van der Waal just completely out, and the reason is it fails when you're not under high compression, etc., which Earth hasn't got. So in all the other cases, whether it be Earth, Mars, or Titan, and that's Titan with its methane, and my results were far better than the van der Waal's results. So what I predicted in all four planets I looked at was better uh, temperature estimates than the prosecution in effect. So whilst I didn't use a van der Waal equation for Venus, my calculation allowing for the other factors I did at the time in my paper was spot on. Now I accept that the van der Waal in high pressure situations is more accurate and more robust formula to use, but I was using a simple approach all the way through, keep it simple. And my approach did give accurate um, the accurate figures for all of the planets well, I know Titan's not a, not a planet as such a moon, but it gave the accurate figures for all of them. And so that's my counter defence against the prosecution. Theoretically, I accept their point, but it doesn't work uh, in the case of anything else here but Venus. Also, there we are. In, in this particular case, except in the prosecution criticism, we've applied um, the maths to it, applied the simple things to it to get the estimates and came out fine. I'm actually far more accurate. It's better bit unfair to use the van der Waal one for uh, the Earth and low pressure situations. It applies more in very unusual situations like Venus. But then my approach of using the ideal gas law and then allowing for di different factors we know about on the planet, right, gave the same result. Now, I am not saying at any point here 
that, and I want to make this clear, that the greenhouse effect does not exist. It does. And, and we're going to go into that with more detail later on. What I'm trying to show you is, is that um, this is how science works, really, that you'll, you'll make a claim, you'll have counterclaims, and you try to find the truth. Because all it is is searching for how the world works. That's what science is. And um, so I hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode. And we'll continually do this. We'll continually examine what I'm claiming. And you know, if I'm wrong, I'm more than happy to admit I'm wrong. I've been wrong in the past and, and I'll be wrong again, probably. Yeah, so I, I'm not handing out the tablets of stone, as I said. I'm, I'm quite happy to do that. As you join in this journey through a whole number of episodes on the science that is fundamental to the climate change alarmism, and which I think is false. Well, I know it's false because you only have to look at the history of their alarmism. It's totally wrong. You know, I mean, the droughts, the floods and everything are, 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 are far less than they were in the past. And um, forest fires and so on and so on. And so I hope you now understand the way I'm approaching this. Yeah. And let's just say, and please, by all means, criticise. Please, by all means, and say, hey, you're wrong on that. There may well be, yeah? At least it's an honest approach to the science. And that's what I'd like to see in schools. I would like to see um, schools taught how science works more than the actual science, in effect, because that's fundamental, how it works, being open. We don't have free speech in science. There's no such thing today as free speech when it comes to climate sciences. It doesn't, right? Uh, and I'm afraid that's the world we live in. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe, press the button and please subscribe and share.